Welcome to this Word of Hope. My name is Father Luke. It's Pentecost Sunday, and welcome to Denver. In our chapel here at the Novitiate, we have these brand new windows in our chapel that depict the foundations of the order. And I really like this one of St. Dominic and the comet, that sort of fiery sign of God that sends him to found the order in Fangio, France. And I think sometimes we often think of Pentecost Sunday with the fire, those flames of the Holy Spirit coming upon the apostles and sending them out to go preach the gospel. But I think we need to realize that the Holy Spirit is much more than what it allows us or impels us to do, that it is about the gifts that it gives us. This is confirmation season. And at Confirmation, we receive the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. We receive wisdom, knowledge, understanding, piety, fear of the Lord, fortitude, counsel. But if you look at each one of these, these are not superpowers and abilities that are meant to send us to do a work. These are gifts by which, through the very essence of who God is, that very spirit of Jesus that drew the apostles in the first place to him is that gift inside of us to be able to know God, see God, understand God, connect with God, God as he is. And the things about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and what confirmation is, is that the primary purpose of them is not what they do through us, is but what they do in us. That is the number one motivation of God in all things. God's first and foremost motivation and desire is to love us. And it is from that love that moves us to work and want to share that love with others. Just like Dominic. He didn't found the order simply on a command. He founded the order because he loved and knew Jesus and wanted to make sure because he knew that is what God wanted, that's what Christ wanted, that that truth of who he is is made present and brought to everybody in a way that they could receive it. The gifts of the Holy Spirit, our confirmation, is not us owning our faith for ourselves, but it is being reminded of who God is and given those abilities and being filled with that very spirit that drew the apostles in the first place. And it is from that love, it is from that overwhelming sense of the spirit that we move out to preach the gospel. In this Pentecost Sunday, I hope that you reconnect with those gifts of the Holy Spirit and once more are able to see God as God sees you. And from that love, preach that love to the whole world. God bless.